barbed wire was one of the most iconic features of the First World War. But what you might not know is how the British Army actually built its wire defences and how they booby trapped them. In this video, we'll take a look at how this was built according to the 1911 Manual of Field Engineering and how trip wires and cartridge alarms were used in conjunction with the barbed wire. At the outbreak of war, the main method used by the British Expeditionary Force to construct barbed wire entanglements was a simple one. First, posts 5 to 8 feet in length were hammered into the ground at random intervals, usually about 5 feet apart. The defence had to be high enough and wide enough to prevent a horse from jumping it. Later in the war, metal pickets that screwed into the ground were also used. Next, Plain wire was strung in crosses between the posts and held in place with staples. Finally, festoons of barbed wire were hung on the posts and connecting wires. There was no pattern followed, as the idea was to make it as complex and difficult to cut as possible. The barbed wire could additionally be held in place with extra wire and staples. As the war progressed, other types of wooden structures, such as knife rests, were often utilised to support the wire, but these were more easily moved by shell fire, and so if possible, posts were still embedded in the ground. 
This type of defence was supposed to be foolproof and impassable without wire cutters. Fortunately, we had our own fool to test it. However, there was still the problem that the wire could be cut if the enemy got close enough. To counter this, the British Army devised a system of alarms to give them some warning if an enemy approached the wire. Sometimes, this could be as simple as a tin filled with stones or bullet casings attached to the defence, which would rattle if the wire was touched, but more preferable was the use of a tripwire which fired a cartridge alarm. This alarm used the weight of a heavy piece of metal to fire a blank cartridge making a loud bang and possibly also setting off a flare. The tripwire itself was always loose and curly as a straight tight wire was easier to see. The British Army had learned to use barbed wire effectively during the Second Boer War and so by 1911 had developed a complex system for using it in defence ultimately in preparation for the possibility of a war in Europe. During the course of the Great War, it would be further adapted and new types of entanglement designed, and so it remained one of the most simple and yet most effective military technologies of the period, and became a defining feature of the First World War.